I'm back. We're going to learn how to uh, improvise over a C blues. Again, some more little fun patterns and tricks that uh, I have incorporated from my ebook Guitar Contexture, which you can uh, just simply request and I will send it to you. I'm always updating this book so you'll get the updates as they occur. Um, at any rate, with the C blues, we have, if you're familiar, we have what is a common progression called a 1-4-5. So if we're in the key of C blues, C is the first chord. And I'm going to play it as a major bar chord here out of eighth position. The four chord, F, will occur here. And again, another, just a major bar chord. And I'm going to be using these as reference points for the patterns. And G at third position. So here's the pattern we're going to be playing. They're called major and minor sixes, and they're really cool. They make the the bluesy effect, the bluesy sound over the, over the music. So the pattern I'm going to show you first is, again, reference to the first chord, C, and then from there we'll get this pattern off of the first string and third string called a major six pattern, and we're not playing the second string. So we can kind of claw pick it with the pick and our middle finger here. And then this is a minor six. It's kind of a parallel dyad and then the same one up a whole step from it. So we get this, again, reference C. Now we'll take that same pattern from the F and from the G. And you can use those when those chord exchanges occur in the music. You can also experiment by using borrow from each one of those when that chord is not being played over the key and see what you come up with. Um, I always use YouTube backing tracks to, uh, to practice and we'll show you some examples right here with this C blues. So we'll have the C to the F, back to the C. To the F, four chord. You can make different melodies out of these two. Now the G to the F to the C and then back to G on the turnaround. 